Hello guys, uh, welcome back. So welcome back to Learn in a Nutshell. So today we'll be continuing with um, you know commerce tool. We are uh, learning about commerce tool. So yeah. So today I'll be teaching you all you know how to get the whatever you know whenever a customer is created uh, or a product is created uh, in the custom uh, commerce tool how to get it how the how to get the data uh, to a fun function app in Azure. Uh, so we'll be using Azure services or uh, Azure cloud services and uh, here in the function app we'll be reading the data and processing it uh, I won't be processing it but I'll be just you know displaying the name here uh, then you can you know process it uh, the way you want it uh, if you want to you know uh, send uh, uh, email with a third party uh, um, provider you can do that or else if you want to do uh, save the files in a DB or something you can do it from the function app so I'll be just teaching it till uh, function app so what I'll be doing is first create a service bus the previous video I had created a service bus that was West India uh, for function app unfortunately it doesn't support I had tried so I'll have to use uh, some other uh, region uh, so let me select uh, a new you know uh, resource group it was default resource group it got created let me name it as service bus customer email confirmation let's not give West India let's select West Europe and then give the pricing tier as basic has uh, will not be using topic uh, in the basic uh, pricing tier there won't be an option of uh, topic it will be disabled only Q will be enabled so if you want to use the topic then you'll have to go for standard or premium so let's just click on review plus create and click on create so once it is created uh, it will go into a deployment uh, you know process it will have, it has to it has to be deployed so meanwhile what we'll do is uh, we'll keep our subscription ready so that we can just change the endpoint let me first delete uh, this particular key so delete subscription by key and uh, go to body uh, okay subscription key subscription version I don't know I'll have to see what is the subscription key and version version is one and key I have so let's go to is there any other option to delete okay or else we can do is uh, subscription delete subscription by ID or uh, does it save the ID okay it saves the ID so what I'll do is go to delete subscription by ID and go to nothing i have to do i'll have to just click on send i suppose it should work uh, so it has got deleted now if i query there shouldn't be any okay there is none so what we'll do is go to create go to body let me keep the key has the same let us just change the connection string so go to resource go to shared access policy or let's create the queue first so queue service bus queue and give it as customer email confirmation click on create this should be instant shouldn't take much time so what we'll do is uh, we'll go here click on root manage shared access key wait for it to you know display the connection string once it is displayed copy that um, paste it here and we'll have to change the queue name so queue name was um, So this is a queue name which I had given copy this go to and replace it here so that would be sufficient uh, we have to you know resource type will have to provide is customer and uh, 
type should be the one at what event you want this message to be sent so we are giving customer created event so whenever a customer is created or message will be sent to this particular connection string or the queue so let's click on send so it got created so what we'll have to do is uh, you can either uh, check if there is any test message that it has received not here actually we'll have to go to queue click on SPQ and click on service bus click on receive yeah there is one message so you can receive it so this is some uh, you know test message just to test before creating the subscription so next what you can do is if you want if you want to have a you know um, a schema of uh, uh, this customer created then you can test it by sending one message let me give demo 3 demo 3 and click on send so customer got created let's see if there is a uh, you know any message that it has received a message has come here let's click and receive so message has been received let's copy this and put it in our text editor uh, you can change the language to json if it is not already done it should be colorful once you change it and then go to json viewer if it's not installed go to plugin admins search for json viewer it should this json viewer should be here you have to select that and click on install so i've already installed i've already shown this in the previous video click on format json so you should see demo 3 coming up here so we don't have to create customer again and again we can just use this body you know to send the message and uh, create a replica of uh, what ct is doing click on send and you can test it here uh, so you can change the name if you want to demo 4 or 5 or anything click on send so message is sent you see here the message has been received you can click on receive and click on yes so it has you know the formatted json has come here if you see here demo 4 has been you know, displayed so next thing what you have to do is we'll have to create a function app so i have two accounts that's the reason it's asking for sign in again and again so i had created this yesterday so only two rupees has been you know detected maybe it gets it will get updated sometime later i'm not sure so let's create click on create and uh, select the same uh, resource group and give a function name i've already tried this so function app for customer confirmation stack i'll use is node.js i'll use the same you know re, uh, same region so this is how it should look now click on review plus create and you can review and click on create hopefully there should not be any error now because previously when i created there was some error because uh, because of uh, west india region which i had selected earlier so now there is no error it got deployed so it got created now it's in the deployment process so next thing what we'll be doing is uh, we'll just sending a message and we'll try to you know receive it in the uh, function app or read it in the function app from there on you can you know connect with a db and store it in the db in the way you want so it's taking some time you can see the progress here also the notification bar
so it's taking a little more time so I'll have to wait So next thing we don't need this we'll just close this so it got created now let's click on and go to resources once you do that next thing is um you have to click on functions You'll have to click on create if not from here before when before go into that uh, if you before click on that go to resources you can just click on uh, you know create a function there is option uh, you know create a function you can directly click that as well so next thing is uh, you can do it in uh, other ways also using vs code or anything I'll be using the portal so at what time you want to you know um, trigger this function so we want to trigger it uh, when a message has been received in bus queue service bus queue trigger so we'll have to go scroll down after selection and uh, give a name service bus function app trigger something like this uh, there won't be any connection you'll have to click on new select the previously created uh, you know um, service bus and click on OK and you'll have to provide the queue name manually so we'll have to go back and uh, so this is the queue name we had given so we'll just copy this and click on create so it got created now let's go to go plus test so code plus test it will have a sample code already so either you can just leave it as it is and send a message so let's try to send a message I hope it is still in the clipboard it's not this so yeah we'll have to go and copy it again and paste it and if you want you can give a different email address like demo4 here also demo5 is better I guess so demo5 demo5 and click on send uh, maybe you'll have to either you can go to monitor and see that or else you can just click on save and go to app insights maybe you'll have to send it again now So it got connected hopefully you should receive a message or else we'll have to send it again so so the message so let me send it again demo 6 demo 6 and click on send and once it is received it will come here so demo 6 has come here so if you want you can read the message you know like um, like dot customer dot email maybe so let's see if this works can clear this and try to send again demo 7 demo 7 it has sent so 
so there is some error i suppose detailed message okay now it has come so if you see here it has read the email id also demo7 at outlook.com same way you can give other details also and you know if you can store it in a variable and then you know push it to db so now what we'll do is we'll try to you know send a message from um, uh, the commerce tools and see if it works uh, let's give uh, something like learn in a nutshell copy this and paste it here and click on send it has sent here let's see if it has come here why oh i actually you know looks like i uh, uh, cut it instead of copying so let's try again paste it here let me clear this message and click on send so you should see learn in a nutshell in the email uh, so yeah so it's working guys so that's that's how you do it so this is how you do it um hope you understood uh, so that's all uh, in this video guys uh, we'll catch up again in the next video if you liked it please hit the like button share with your friends who are also you know learning commerce too and also you know subscribe if you have any queries post in the comment section thank you so much guys see you in the next video bye